Hey team, so we are about to take the chapter one test, and by test, you are actually going to do your first Flipgrid assessment. So here's the deal team. There is exactly nine different math equations here. You have to do exactly one of these problems. Now, if you choose to do one problem for the, from the top row, well, that is you can earn an A. If you do it right, you correctly explain your work in your video, um, then uh, you get an A. If you choose one from the middle row, well, these are B-level problems. If you choose a B-level problem, you explain yourself, you show all your steps, then you can earn a B. And then last but not least, there is a C row. If you choose one problem from C, correctly explain yourself, then you earn a C. Now, um, to get that grade that you choose, you do have to do two things. You have to show your work. All right, now I recommend doing all your work ahead of time, either on a blank sheet of paper, or maybe you have a whiteboard. Some people have done that last semester. Um, but I do it out ahead of time, and make sure that you are, um, once you have it the way you like it, write it maybe in black ink. Make it look very, very nice. I need to be able to see it. Maybe you have to write extra large. Shouldn't be teeny tiny. Write it big so you can hold it up to your camera so that I can see the work. So that's thing one is you have to make sure to write it down very nicely showing all your steps and I have to see it at some point um, on the camera. You can just lift it right up. And then um, the other thing is you have to explain yourself. So I've made a little word bank here and these are some words. You don't have to necessarily use all of them but you should use at least a couple of them in order to um, adequately explain your work along the way. Um, also, on this instructional sheet, I did make a little example video, so feel free to click that and watch me doing an example of what it might look like. So team, thanks for playing, have fun.